So today we are going to take off a mole in the office. It can usually be done in the office, even if it's on the face, on your local. The one thing that I do ask patients to do is if they have more than one mole, like she has several uh, little ones on her arm, I have them see their dermatologist and have their dermatologist do a mole screening to see if there's anything that they think should be removed because only really a dermatologist can tell. This, from my experience, does not have the features of a malignant nevus or mole. It's popular, kind of like a big skin pad, but we're gonna take it out full thickness and close it. So this is about a little bit under a centimeter, like six millimeters, seven millimeters, and the stalk of it is smaller than this. The first thing I do is I put some lemon cream on. So now I'm gonna give her some local injection. This is lidocaine with epinephrine. What I'm gonna do is go around just the base of it to get all of it. Okay, so see these lines here when she bends her arm, like here and here? That's probably the direction that this is gonna be closed in. Because those are the relaxed skin tension lines. You can't see them as well now that I prepped it, but they kind of go like that. So wherever you're removing something, you want to close it in the direction of the relaxed skin tension lines. So I'm just cutting around the base of it to take as little around it as possible. So it'll be as small of an incision as possible. Okay, so that is it, it's off. And it's gonna go for pathology. It should be done. Yeah, it should be done. Okay, so you can see now it's closing along the relaxed skin tension line very easily. So it's fully closed um, and it's everted purposely so that as it heals, it'll spread. Um, anyways, well, as it heals, it's gonna spread apart. Also, this is an area of movement because you see when she puts her arm up, it's gonna pull it. Okay, so we're done here.